Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about a new management tool, a tool that can help you reduce mycotoxins in both your grain corn and corn silage. The new triazole family of fungicides is giving producers the opportunity to not only increase grain corn yields by reducing foliar leaf diseases, but also improve grain quality by reducing mycotoxins. No other class of fungicide can make this claim. In fact, there is some literature to indicate that when the strobilone class of fungicides is applied at full flower, there may be an increase in mycotoxins. Now, Proline is the only currently registered triazole fungicide in the marketplace. In 2011-2012, Pioneer commissioned a study at the University of Guelph Ridgedown campus to determine how much reduction there could be in mycotoxins with an application of Proline. The results were very favorable. We found nearly 50% reduction in mycotoxins. That was enough to make us convinced that we should conduct a series of on-farm plot comparisons in 2013. Currently, we have 30 or more farm locations where a hybrid has been planted that has moderate tolerance to gibier mold, has been sprayed with proline. What we're going to do is we're going to weigh both where it was sprayed and not sprayed to determine the yield level of enhancement by controlling foliar diseases. We're also going to take samples from where it was sprayed and not sprayed to determine possible mycotoxin reductions. Those results were made available to the farm public later in the fall after those harvest plots have been taken off. Proline can be applied to the corn crop in two manners, both aerially and by ground. If applied by air, and it is registered for aerial application, you need to apply it at least five gallons of water per acre. If applied by ground equipment, it should be applied in 20 gallons of water per acre, and it should be applied at 70, 80 pounds of pressure. The reason for the high water volume and the high pressure is to help drive the proline fungicide deep into the canopy or as far as possible. After all, what you're trying to do, you're trying to protect the area around the silks at full silk to keep the fusarium spores from affecting the silk channels. Proline should be applied at 100% silk emergence. So to determine when it should be applied, you need to walk in your field and examine it to see if you have 100% of the plants with silk emergence. We found in our research work with Ridgetown campus that when 100% silk emerges in a field, you have the best opportunity of reducing the, the VOM or the mycotoxins. Now veterinarians, crop consultants, people that work nutritionists with farmers all realize that we're trying to do one thing, grow as high a productive crop as we can, but also try to grow and produce as low a mycotoxin contaminated crop as we can. It's just great to know that there's a product like Proline, a triazole fungicide in the marketplace today, that can supplement good gibber mold tolerance to help to achieve this goal. I'm sure in the future there'll be more triazole fungicides that will come to the market as well. But for now, Proline gives you that opportunity to make better quality grain and better quality silage.